Hi, que pasa, mi amigos? Manny Biggs here, of course, and uh, I want to share some tech in a quick little video here. Uh, I had a discussion, quick little discussion with Sherdell in the Marduk Discord about this tech. This tech has been around since uh, Tekken 6 or so. Back then, they changed the recovery on Marduk's Mount Punch follow-ups. Back in DR and uh, 5.0 and probably Tekken 4 also, Marduk's uh, Mount Punch follow-ups gave him a uh, frame advantage. Now, they generally kind of don't. The one that he, the option that he recovers, he recovers the fastest off of is the one and two options. Just the basic punches, the lowest damage options, right? And the reason that's important is because if you read that they're going to do a low wake-up kick, as you can see, I have a low wake-up kick set up here. Um, you can uh, do this. Mash out. Up forward people's four, right? Or you can just time it if you don't want to mash. And you will get a cross-up situation where you are back-to-back, -back, like so, right? This situation nets you a guaranteed crowd shot against most characters. I haven't tested against the whole cast in this game because this is this tech has kind of changed from game to game and the character sizes play a role. You would think smaller characters would mess this up, but it's really bigger characters that mess this up. For example, in this game, I can tell you that when you do it on Marduk himself, it'll sometimes cross up, so it'll sometimes it won't cross up. The reason why the cross up is important though is against uh, most characters, once again, not against Marduk, you can get a guaranteed crowd shaft to connect here. The one thing though that you have to do to make that guaranteed crowd shaft consistent is Input it as down forward one when you're back turn, not down back one. If you input down back one, it will sometimes whiff. Uh, I don't know what it has, you know, what makes it whiff. I don't really know the specifics. Maybe you need to do the up forward three plus four in the very first frame to guarantee the positioning to not make it whiff otherwise. But generally speaking, if you input it as down forward one, you will get a cross shot to connect. And I'll show that right here. See, I'm doing it off the basic two option. We're going to match that up forward three plus four. Boom, down forward one, punch him right in the ass, right? When you connect this crouch stab against most of the cast, like outside of, let's say, Ling Zhao Yu, you will get a guaranteed while standing one after that crouch stab connects on their back, like so. Whoa, see, I put it wrong there. Let's try it again. Like that. Now you notice that the wall standing one hit him back turn. So the reason uh, it hit him back turn is because he didn't do anything. He's obviously he's the AI, right? The AI doesn't do anything here to try to make him turn around. The, generally, the way to turn around, right? You will still get hit by the wall standing one, but the way to turn around immediately, one of the fastest ways to turn around immediately is with an attack. Ideally, you're gonna want to attack with a throw so you don't get counter hit, right? Because what ends up happening is if that while standing one hits you in the back, then the two without any delay is guaranteed. The two follow up. So all of this could be guaranteed depending on how much your opponent knows. Oh, sorry, I put it too slow. Got to mash it out. See? If they don't turn around and that while standing one hits them in the back, that two is guaranteed. So you get the damage of the up forward 3 plus 4, you get the damage of the crouch stab, and then you get the wall standing 1, 2 damage of uh, whatever the heck it is. Wall standing 1, 2, 32 damage on top of everything else from this one setup. Now, if the opponent were to mash grab after the crouch stab hits them, they would turn around, the wall standing 1 would still hit them, but they would be able to duck the 2. And if you're fighting against Ling Zhao Yu, right after the crouch stab hits her, the while standing one, she could do the punch parry, the back turn. I think it's forward one plus two punch parry that activates on the first frame. She could do that to just blow right through the setup. So it's not an amazing setup, but it's a you know it's not a bad one either. Uh, another thing worth noting is you can do off of this option again. This is the one or two mount options. You could get a back forward to beat out both wake up kicks, but it seems very difficult. Like you can't even mash it out. Like I'm gonna try to mash out a couple of times here, see what happens. And see, that's, what's, that's what I don't like about mashing it out. That's what I don't like about this option in general. You risk that you don't get it out on the first frame, 
and it seems like you need it to be like the first frame to beat out the wake-up kick clean. Otherwise, you're going to eat the low wake-up kick counter hit, and you're going to get, you know, comboed. Uh, one option worth noting here, though, that will beat out both wake-up kicks and is pretty much low risk, maybe even zero risk, is... Crouch Jab. Especially if uh, you're in a situation where they're almost dead. Because from this get-up position, they cannot get up fast enough to low parry the Crouch Jab. So they have to block it. Crouch Jab is safe on block. If they stay down in Crouch Jab, you recover. Generally speaking, you recover fast enough that you'll still be able to block. You have to guess block, but you'll still be able to block a wake-up kick in time. So, not a bad situation. So that's not, a, that's not the worst option in the world, right? Um, so, yeah. I'll try to make some more of these every once in a while to share some more tech, just these little bite-sized videos like this. Uh, share it with your friends. Hope it helps. Have some fun with it. You can play around. Maybe this, maybe there's some new tech to be discovered in Tekken 7 that you could evolve off of this tech if you explore more. You people that are a lot more creative than me. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, I hope that helps, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.